that Harry got the start today. What went into that decision, and is he going to stay in the in the starting lineup? Um, I didn't feel like we prepared well for our last game uh, prior to this one, and uh, and that was about you know about ten days where our preparation and our focus uh, in practice was not where I would have liked it. And you know you try everything to try to get that going, but at the end of the day, always the best motivator is is starting. And um, uh, Harry, and this is not saying the other guys didn't uh, practice well, but he played, he practiced the best. So he, he's going to start. And you know that's why I think you're going to probably see a, a lot of different lineups. Uh, hopefully not, but you know we need to we need to do a better job in practice. I thought we prepared well for this game. I thought um, uh, very disappointed in the loss. Uh, obviously, great respect for Villanova. Um, but I was, I thought our guys gave a winning effort, even though we didn't win. And so that, that's a positive thing that we need to build off of. And that's, uh, something that didn't happen the, the game before. And with Brunson, he had a big game. Seems to yeah, I mean, he was of... terrific. He's a terrific player. And, you know, we got out, he just lived at the line. Um, he's a terrific player. He's a terrific player. We got to play without fouling and we got to figure out how to get our guards fouled on something other than a shot fake three-point shot. Um, so, you know, I mean, we, we have to figure that out because that's, uh, that's, that's big. I mean, I've spoken about Brunson in the, the previous. I think he's as good a guard as there is in the United States. And uh, tonight is uh, another representation. But I got, I got some good guards, too. I got some really good guards, too. And one of them's leading the, the conference in scoring. And he's doing that without shooting any free throws, which is a remarkable feat. Uh, just a re absolutely remarkable feat. And um, I have to do a much better job of figuring out how to put him in positions to be fouled um, because he's, he's not ever shooting a free throw. And um, that's, uh, I, gotta, I have to do a much better job at that because obviously I'm not because he never goes to the line. And then really, I mean, looking at that final 15 or so seconds that you've been Sam got a great shot. Sam got a great shot. He just didn't make it. But he was wide open, and that's what we wanted to do. If he made it, we would have called timeout. It would have been a two-point game. But if Sam Hauser is open at the end of the ball game, uh, as his coach, I think the ball is going in. And he just it didn't go in. So, But uh, we couldn't have asked for a better shot. I couldn't have diagrammed anything in a timeout. That would have led to a, Sam, a better wide open wing three-point shot. So just sometimes it doesn't go in. Speaking of Sam, he didn't score much today, but he does a lot defensively and rebounding, boxing out. What does he mean to this team as a kind of a all-around player? Oh, he's a tremendous player. He's got a great basketball IQ. Uh, you know, and then they were running double teams at him uh, a lot. Uh, and again, and, he, and he's you know he's he's been banged up a little bit. I mean, to be quite frank with you, so he's he's having to work through that. Uh, but he's not a guy who ever makes excuses, and he's a winner. Coach, after the last Villanova game, you said you wanted the team to get a lot more aware of backdoor cuts and off-ball motion. How do you think they did with that today? Oh, we did a good job with that. I mean, like, look, <laughs> they're the number one team in the country for a reason. They're good. And um, they, hit, they played really good. I mean, it wasn't like they were really ready to play. I mean, I'm sure they watched clips from last year and all that kind of stuff here. I mean, they were really ready to play. And... When they're really ready to play, they're as good as any team in the United States. And uh, but in terms of our our defense, I, I thought our guys competed. Um, you know, I thought uh, turnovers hurt us. You know, we had some turnovers that we didn't couldn't defend. But I think in the second half, there was a stretch there in half court defense. We they were like five for seventeen in their half court offense. So turnovers really hurt us, and the free throw line really hurt us. I mean, if we, we have to play our defense without fouling, and then we got to be able to get our guys to the free throw line more. And then looking ahead with Butler coming up, really in the first matchup, they really shut down Marcus Howard and Keelan Martin really had that second half run. What are you looking to do differently this time around? You know, I haven't, I haven't thought one second about Butler. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get to, we're going to evaluate what we just did, and then we'll get to work on Butler. But I haven't, I haven't. <laughs> I think Villanova deserved my complete attention 